The Milky Way's real look will blow your mind. The universe came into existence some 13.8 billion years ago through an event called the Big Bang. Gravitational waves compressed gas into clumps, which were then responsible for igniting celestial bodies, which we call stars. The same forces also then organized these stars into clusters we call galaxies. Our very own galaxy, called the Milky Way, also has a lot of secrets to share with us. And in this video, we will talk about those secrets which lie within the real appearance of the Milky Way. So, stay tuned. But before we continue further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! Now, before we delve into what we don't know about the Milky Way, let's just revisit what we already know. People before the Renaissance used to look up to the sky and see the works of gods and goddesses splashed across the heavens. The heavens used to and still do inspire writers and poets, but whatever we know today about the universe and our galaxy is courtesy of science and technology. Edwin Hubble, who was born in 1889, contributed so much to our understanding of our galaxy. For instance, in 1936, he was the first scientist to say that the clouds of dust and gas, erroneously categorized as nebulae, were in fact distant galaxies. Through many of his achievements, he was able to establish the field of extragalactic astronomy. Most of the formative principles and classification systems he used at the start are still in use by today's scientists. By the same classification system, the Milky Way is categorized as a far spiral galaxy. Although our galaxy is pretty old, according to our time conventions, some of its areas are relatively new, which means that there are some stars which are quite young and were born not that long ago. The data collected suggests that the Milky Way is one of the largest galaxies in our universe. To give you a scale, the diameter of the Milky Way is about 200,000 light years. The Milky Way is also home to about 200 billion stars and about a trillion other planets. With this many stars and planets, one would assume that most of the mass of the galaxy would be because of these celestial objects. But most of the mass in our galaxy is a result of what physicists have called dark matter. Dark matter is a non-luminous matter which can exist in many forms in either low energy matter or high energy matter. But dark matter, being non-luminous, remains invisible and constitutes the bulk of the matter of the universe. As far as our galaxy is concerned, it is estimated to weigh between 0.8 to 1.5 trillion solar masses. Let's try to understand our galaxy by focusing on the center and then moving towards the edges. The center of our galaxy is usually covered in massive clouds of dust, but fortunately for us, we can still examine it through a space which has considerably lower amounts of dust called peanut bulge. But what else does the Milky Way have at its center? Like most other galaxies out there, it contains a supermassive black hole called the Sagittarius A. Sagittarius A has a mass of 4.3 million solar masses, and its radius is 7.456 million light years. The first set of data related to the Sagittarius A was obtained through a series of calculations and observations obtained in May 2022. Most of these observations were obtained from the first images gathered through the Event Horizon telescopes. These findings also suggest that there are a lot of stars near Sagittarius A, approximately 6,000. Some of these stars are as close as 17.8 AU away from the black hole. Now, if we move further on, we see an irregular shaped area which is somewhere between 1600 and 1900 light years and has a mass of over 60 million solar masses. In this region, we come across gas nebulae as well as protostars and leftovers of a supernova. Protostars are celestial objects which look like stars, but the core is not hot enough to trigger a fusion chain reaction. In this region, most of the clouds are composed of hydrogen, whose temperature varies between minus 223 degrees Celsius and 327 degrees Celsius. Spectral analysis of this region shows that in addition to hydrogen clouds, carbon monoxide, methyl alcohol, and other chemical compounds can also be found. Now, let's talk about the luminous bulge which takes on the shape of an elliptical formation, which reaches out to 10,000 light years. The diameter of this bulge is somewhere near to 7 light years, and the mass is 10 billion times that of the Sun. It is not possible to calculate the total number of stars in this region, because the radiation of these stars blend, and thus make approximation challenging. 
The bulge then leads to an area which acts as a base for spiral galactic arms of the Milky Way. This whole area then stretches out to 13,000 light years and contains the constellation of Scutum. This constellation is famous for containing the Stevenson 218, which is a red supergiant, or possibly a red hypergiant. This star is located near the open cluster called Stevenson 2, which is 19,000 light years away from Earth. Stevenson 218 is one of the brightest red supergiants and generally brightest stars in our galaxy. Now, let's jump to lesser known facts about the Milky Way. Larger galaxies and galaxies of the order of the Milky Way contain galactic habitable zones. These are zones which have the potential to have conditions conducive for emergence of life. In the case of the Milky Way, the habitable zone is in the form of annulus, which is the area between two concentric circles. This annulus has an outer diameter of 33,000 light years and an inner diameter close to the area of the galactic center. Interestingly, it is quite difficult to discern the difference between the two areas since they do not have a clear difference. This brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching till the end. See you in the next video.